What's up ladies and gents, don't forget to subscribe to Russian Gaming, that's www.youtube.com slash user slash Russian Gaming, like and subscribe and share. And we're back and making our way to the burn. Feel the burn, man, feel the burn. Seems the engineers have matters well in hand. Should the barrier work as we intend, Dolma will be free to reinforce her allies in Alamigo without fear of weakening her own borders. Honored friends, the time has come to put your hard work to the test. Start the generator. Node 1 is operational. Nodes 2 to 8 are reporting similar energy levels. The barrier is forming. One thousand yams. Two thousand. Three thousand. Expansion remains smooth. No fluctuations detected. We've done it! Is that an Imperial airship? Of all the rotten timing. But this is a gift, Mistress Alizé. They can test our new wall for us. Seems solid enough, though I was hoping for a fireball. By the gods. It's Alpha, no. What are you? Let me go! He has my brother! Lower the barrier! Be at ease, girl. The lad is not dead, merely locked in slumber. No, not him too.
We could identify no cause and found no remedy. Thus I sought to return him to Doma, and into the arms of Lord Hien himself, it would seem. It is a day for fated reunions. Would you not agree, adventurer? Or should I address you as the Warrior of Light? Gaius van Baelsar, the Black Wolf. That was the title I was given, one I have long since relinquished. Stand down. The Legatus of the 14th Imperial Legion died in Castrum Meridianum. I am no more than Gaius Baelsar, a man without rank or allegiance. Impossible! There's no way you could have survived. Do you remember how it unfolded? How I was deceived by Lahabrea? How I was convinced that reviving the Ultima weapon would allow me to bring peace to Eorzea? The Essian used me, as he used so many others, all to further the restoration of his wretched god. Yet even with the might of Alec at my command, you bested me. And as the Praetorium went up in flames, I was content to burn along with it. For a moment, at least. A moment of folly. To surrender my life thus would have been to betray all who died for my cause. It was for them that I dragged myself free of the rubble, and swore vengeance on the Assians. The Black Wolf has shed his pelt, never to return to Garlemald or her legions. I live now only to exact revenge. My principal quarry was to be Lahabrea, whom I gather you have since ushered unto oblivion. But so many more remain. Long as their kind lurked in the shadows, laboring to sow chaos throughout our world, I would see each and every one dragged into the light and put to the sword. Are the Scions not of like mind? In this single respect, perhaps. Then I shall continue the partnership the boy began, and share what intelligence I have acquired. Among the Asians, the black-masked ilk are subordinate to those who wear red. This you already know. Yet among the red there exists a hierarchy. Those set adrift with the shards clearly stand below those still joined to the source. Nabriales, who once dared to intrude upon the rising stones, belonged to the former group. And while he was indeed a dangerous foe, his powers were inconsequential next to the paragons of the Source. The first was Lahabrea, who plagues us no more. There is also the white-robed Elidibus, and the elusive Emmet Selk, about whom little is known. We have files on Lahabrea and Elidibus. But I believe this Emmet Selk is new to us? As I assume my brother told you, we have evidence to suggest that an Asian now walks in the body of the Crown Prince. Have you identified this interloper? Elidibus seems the most likely culprit. As emissary, it is his role to maintain the equilibrium between darkness and light. Your many deeds in Heidelin's name have upset the balance, and I believe he seeks to restore it by throwing his considerable power behind the Empire. As a leader of the Asians, he is one of our primary targets. 
It was on the trail of this very prey that the boy and I came across the scene of a failed uprising. In the absence of a single Galian casualty, we inspected the bodies of the rebels, and the lack of any external injury drew my immediate attention. They had been slain by Black Rose, an alchemical invention of the Imperial Army. When I yet served as Legatus, I ordered its production halted, and all stockpiles destroyed. Toxic gas is not a tool of conquest, but of extermination. Toxic gas? This must be the new weapon Maxima warned us about. Something deadly enough to sweep away all resistance in a matter of hours. Gods. You don't think they're planning to use this in Alamigo, do you? Put your fears to rest. We infiltrated the production facility and destroyed all existing stores of the chemical along with the plant itself. Even should they rebuild the operation, they will not soon manufacture another batch. Regardless, I would draw your attention to a directive we discovered in the plant's records. The document was marked with a recent date and authorized with the signature of one Zeno C. A. Galvis. A dead man signing the death warrant for thousands. Tis bad comedy. But the tale does not end there. Within that same facility was a chamber filled with devices of elegant design. Cloning technology, we realized. And what should we find in each and every incubator? But a young Emperor Solus. All of which prompts the question, were the Asians responsible for these abominations, or was it the will of the Emperor? I must know which hand guides the Empire. Though I have given up my rank, I am yet a son of Garlemald, and I will fight for the future of my homeland. It is time I return to the Hunting of Shadows. We should focus on our common foe. To reopen old quarrels now would serve no purpose. You saved my brother's life, so I'm willing to let sleeping dogs lie. But in truth, it's not my decision to make. There was a time when I scorned those who placed their faith in false gods, even as I, in my blinkered conviction, place mine in Asian promises. Unlike yours, my strength of will and my restraint was found wanting. We shall meet again, warrior of light. So that was the infamous Black Wolf, an unexpected ally to say the least. Well, I am content to leave the fine tuning of the barrier to cleverer minds. Let us bid our friends from the Ironworks farewell and see what can be done for Alphano back in Dorma.
What a quinky dink. Crazy twist in the story. I had a feeling it was the same guy though. Our supplies of Black Rose have been ruined, but the new plant is already under construction. We should have the first batch ready in time for the offensive, Your Radiance. See that you do. Yes, the infamous Black Crows. If I recall correctly, Gaius did not much care for the invention. A ruthless and indiscriminate weapon indeed, this airborne poison. It seems you are capable of making decisions worthy of your bloodline. With no gift for sorcery, we Garleans must look to Magitek to even the odds. If it spares the needless deaths of our soldiers and serves the cause of this empire, there is no method I would not employ. How very noble of you. Truly, though, I must commend you for embracing your role as Emperor. You play the part of the determined ruler well. Sometimes, even I catch myself believing. A silent agent of death. Now that I think on it, Black Rose may well possess the perfect aspect. Slowly but surely, 
The deluge of light has worked upon the ether here in the source, and the gas should be most susceptible to its influence. Well, I shall leave you to your own devices. Go forth and bloody the land with your grand and glorious war. While you do what, precisely? Need you ask? I will be doing what all Asians do. I am well aware that your kind exists only to usher in the next calamity. But you seem oblivious to the harm your singular agenda causes to the Empire. You cannot have forgotten the events which followed your mortal demise. Our homeland was plunged into civil war for your failure to name a successor. The edifice you so carefully constructed was but a hair's breadth from collapse. Are you truly so naive? You thought me oblivious to the consequences of a departure so painstakingly timed? It was by design? Well, of course it was. Though I will admit the resulting panic exceeded even my wildest expectations. But how can you be surprised? Throwing the world into disarray was the very purpose for which this nation was, as you say, so carefully constructed. Now, if you have no further questions, I must be on my way. Since we may not meet again in this lifetime, it would be remiss of me not to offer a word or two of gratitude. I really must thank you for this surplus of vessels. I can mold any host into my own image, but having bodies tailor-made for me in this fashion is so much less tiresome. You dabbled in elegant cloning techniques, yes? It certainly is a compelling, not to mention entertaining, field of research. And of all the options available, you chose the Founding Father on whom to experiment. You have a twisted streak to you, Varus. Like grandsire, like grandsire, hey? If events play out as planned, this will become something of a family enterprise. You will be the capstone of this world, I the anchor and the shard, and together we will give the lie to this star's fraudulent existence. <laughs> We must leave now to convene with Eor's new leaders, and it may be some time before I return to Doma. Haku, I leave you in command. My lord. I shall assemble an advance party with all haste and join you in Alamigo forthwith. I've just received word from Lise. The Alliance has established a base camp near Alamigo's northeastern border. 
Once we've arrived in the locks, we're to report to Resistance Officer Station in Porta Pretoria, who will point us in the right direction. Let's not keep them waiting. I was told to look out for. If you follow me, I'll take you directly to Alliance headquarters. Welcome back, you two. Greetings, Lord Here. Glad you could join us. Glad to be here. I would have come sooner, were our own defense is not in question, but I am pleased to report that our soldiers are assembling for deployment to Alamigo as we speak. We're grateful for your support. Thanks to the efforts of our allies, it won't be long before we've established defensive positions on this front as well. have some good news too. Elfano has come back to us. As for the bad news... So, Alphano won't wake up, Gaius van Baelsar is alive and hunting Assians, and the Empire is planning to poison us all with toxic gas. Does that sound about right? Ordinarily, any one of those things would have left me in shock. But the way things have been lately, it's all starting to seem pretty normal. Getting back to your report, are we sure this Black Rose is the weapon Maxima was talking about? It fits the description. And it seems we have Alfino to thank for sparing us an early demonstration of its effectiveness. I have a feeling this won't be the last time his bravery in the Empire will serve us here in Eorzea. The threat of an unknown weapon has had us all on edge. But now that we know what we're dealing with, we can take steps to defend against it. As for Gaius, I'm not sure what to think. Am I happy he's alive? Not in the slightest. Am I happy he's hunting Assians? Aye, I'd have to say I am. Oh, speaking of Garlians you didn't expect to see, we have a tale of our own, as it happens. When we sent envoys to the Imperial Army to request talks, they returned with the message that Varis Sos Galvus would be attending. The Emperor himself? Well, Varus did sanction the Popularis peace mission. But knowing that an Assian walks in his son's skin, I do not see how we can trust him or anyone from that nest of vipers. The Alliance would proceed with negotiations regardless, if only to give ourselves more time to prepare. We do, however, require your cooperation. Ah, uh, right. Yes. So... As a condition for the talks to go forward, the Empire has requested that a member of the Scions be present. There'll be a representative from each Alliance nation, of course, but I'm afraid we have to ask that you come along too. C 
God, Lise, you know how much I hate politics. But then, what choice do I have? Alfred and the others aren't going to do it. Very well. I shall attend as the Scion's representative. In case you're wondering why I didn't ask you, the Empire also requested the presence of Eorzea's champion. That's settled then. We don't know what Varus means to bring to the table, or why he wants you there, but having you close at hand will make all the difference. The meeting will take place on the border. Anticipating an early assault, we mean to position the bulk of our forces nearby. The Alliance leaders should already be on their way. Once you're ready, we can head out and join them. What's up ladies and gents, don't forget to subscribe to Russian Gaming, that's www.youtube.com slash user slash Russian Gaming, like and subscribe and share.